clone detection analyzes a model and detects patterns, which could be replaced with a reusable library to improve the maintainability and reduce the complexity of the design. In this example, we have a counter block, which has been copied multiple times in the model. After copying, there were some changes done to the copies. For example, the labels of the inputs to the blocks were changed. There were some other graphical changes done within one of the copies as well. Comparing two of the blocks, you can see that the sum block was moved to a different location in the design. Going back to our original model, we will invoke clone detection to find the duplicate patterns in the model. We choose analysis, and then we select refactor model, and then identifying modeling clones, which will bring up our dialog. We are given the opportunity to identify exact clones, which have identical block types, connections, and parameter settings, and then similar clones, which can have different parameter settings. There are three ways to detect clones within the model. We can supply a library file, which will supply the patterns that the clone detection feature will look to identify in the model, or we can just examine the model and find duplicate patterns within the model. Lastly, we can detect functional clones, where variables in the model are evaluated, and if they are the same, then it is identified as a clone. In this case, an update diagram is invoked to evaluate the variable's values. We want to be able to refactor the model, so we're going to use exact clones, which allows us the option to do a refactor. We select the option to identify all clones, and then we select to run this check. It identifies all the counter blocks as being clones. We can navigate to the clones using the hyperlinks in the report. To refactor the model, we specify a new library file where the reusable library is stored and also the prefix for the new model which uses the library. We now choose refactor model. This will create a new model that replaces the clones with links to the library block. We can navigate to the new model using the hyperlink in the report, and we can see in the new model has blocks with links to the library. The report also gives us the option to navigate to each of the replaced clones with the hyperlinks, so we can easily identify where they are located within the design. We are also able to navigate to the linked library block in the library file that we specified earlier. We simply right click on the block and then navigate to the link library. If we open up the library, we can see our duplicate pattern is it now in a reusable library, which improves the maintainability of the design.